Shalom Aleichem and, and welcome. Um, this is a special day, today's Yud Shvat, and no, I don't have Ben Sion with me. Uh, I am in a very special place in Yud Shvat. I, 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 this is in the Pletzel in Paris, and it's the Shul de Zibitzin. The Shul is very historic, because the tradition says that four Rabbein davened in this Shul. The Rebbe Barash, the Rebbe Rashab, the Friedrich Rebbe and the Rebbe. So this, I felt, was me most appropriate to, to give the weekly parsha here from this place. All right, so for those who always wait for the weekly question, so uh, like last week, where we mentioned that in the, in, there's a part of the parsha that we say every day when we put on tefillin, Rabbi Tom's tefillin, there is a part of this week's parsha that we say every single day, and that is the Oz Yashir. You know, the Gemara says there were many other things that the Chacham wanted to become part of the text of Davening, um, and maybe Asher Sadibris, maybe other things, Yet, Az Yashir is still stuck, and it's still part of davening, and the question, for those who like to have your questions, why is it, what's the significance that every day during the davening, we say the Az Yashir? However, and I want you to pay note, there's a lot of things, because it, it's in this week's parsha, a lot of diyukim that you have to think about. Take the pasuk Hashem, Yimlech Le'elon Vod. Yossi, the one who always has nice comments, Hashem, Psik, Yimlech Le'elon Vod. Why is there a line after the word Hashem, Yimlech, and Hashem and Yimlech Le'envod. Look in the Mepharshim. But it is a mistake that people say, and I want to clarify this. Mi chamoicha be'elim Hashem. Mi chamoicha me'adu b'kodesh, yeah? Mi chamoicha be'elim Hashem. Not to make a mistake, so translate the, the words properly. Mi chamoicha, who is like you? Be'elim, elim is not what people think. Elim means amongst the chazakim. Rashi says, amongst the, the strong and the mighty, Nobody is like you, Hashem. Now, there, you look in the Mepharshim, Elam is, is a chasir yud, the klayak, the daskei, the balei atreses talks about it. But what does it really mean? Why use this word Elam? So there is beautiful interpretations. What, the Gemara in, in Gittin says, Be'elim, Be'ilmim. Be'ilmim means like to the, for the mute. What does it mean? So if you look in the klayakar, the klayakar says a couple of perushim, he says, obviously, it's not, it doesn't, it's not what it says, but what does it mean? So the Kleyaka says like this. Uh, it can either refer, refer to the Abishter. The Abishter sometimes reacts like an eeling, like a mute or somebody. He makes himself as if he doesn't hear what's going on because if Chas Shalom, somebody does a mischief, he, he makes believe, he overlooks it. And that uh, Bas of Adam doesn't do that. Ma'idach, there's a, for, for the Rishayim, the Abishter acts like a, a Elaine as a, as a standing up for his rights and um, and shvach uh, shom and it's a uh, and, and, uh, I'm sorry kikol hashemaya anybody who listens and he hears what people say about him a rasha rachman l'tzlan or a mischief the Abishter holds back that is a mighty that's that's yad chazaka that's that's might and that's what the, that's how we praise Hashem. There is another thing which is specifically negated to Yud Shvat. The Rebbe and the Mimer says that um, how we have to uh, do a skafya and a sapcha. One of the Purushan, the Kleyoka, says that the Abishta acts like an Elaine in the sense, Hashemayim Mesapim Kavoyt Kel. The skies say the glory of Hashem. The skies don't talk. Shemayim don't talk. He says, a yid, the way he acts, the way he walks, the way he does things, even though he, do, even though he doesn't have to say anything, but he has to be mesapar kvoit kel. And the Abishter, even though, even without saying things, he does good for the Abishter. He does good for, for Klau Yisro. And the last thing he says, another pop shot, uh, why is it like Ilmin? Because the Gemara talks about not over over exaggerating when you're saying something, or even that there's no such a thing over exaggerating day shvachim. But it's, sometimes it's good to be mimai mishvach, and that's why it says beulmin because you don't you don't say it all, especially for the Abishta. You can't give all the shvachim. You're be, you're acting in a certain sense like an elim, and this is uh, the shvachim shomakim.